Hi, we have set up a Christmas tree for the season and now the problem is that one of the bulbs on the light string is broken and the entire light is down. My daughter was quite upset about the broken Christmas tree lights. Santa won't bring me gifts with these broken lights. The Christmas is ruined. I don't know why we even have a Christmas tree. We are not Christians. Jesus. Anyways, all of a sudden I had this great idea. Why not just find the broken bulb and replace it? Well, I guess that's the challenging part. Then I had a new idea. Why not zap the broken light out? Then I spent a couple of hours trying to figure out what the hell I meant with that statement. Then zap! When a light bulb burns, basically its filament breaks open. So an air gap is created that doesn't allow the current to go through, unless the voltage is high enough. See, if the voltage is high enough, an arc is created over the air gap. And then the spark becomes visible, showing and revealing the broken light bulb. Just genius. But how could everyone do this? I mean, not everyone can borrow an electrostatic discharge gun. But then it hit me. Everyone could wear socks, walk on carpet and zap the light string. And then it took me a few hours to understand how bad that method was. And then right when I had my finger stuck in a lighter and pulled the trigger, it zapped me. The damn thing can generate high voltage. So I extracted the piezo sparker from inside the lighter. and attached it to my light string and started zapping, looking to see the sparks jumping over the air gaps. But I saw nothing. So, disappointed, I plugged in my lights and something magical happened. My string turned on. What the f Had I fixed it before? But I thought I had checked it a minute ago and it didn't work. I grabbed another broken string and zapped it, looking for sparks. And again, nothing. Frustrated, I plugged the lights in. The lights turned on again. What the f I realized the sparks were doing something to fix the light string. But what was it? I mean, I wasn't gaining any one of my blown lights back. I checked the blown off bulbs and I realized that they were all shorted. This would allow the remaining lights in the string to turn on as they are all in series. So I realized that my sparks were actually breaking and shorting something in the light bulb. Let's do this experiment. Here is the piezo sparker I took out from the lighter. When you press the button, it sparks. Yeah. The way these things work is that there is a piezo crystal inside the sparker. And as you may know, when you bend the piezo crystal, it generates electricity. Now, the more violently you bend or shock the piezo crystal, the more electricity it generates. Basically, in this sparker, there is a tiny hammer that hits the piezo crystal hard, causing it to generate thousands of volts and creating a spark. Now, here is a good light bulb that shows a short across it because its filament is not broken. Now, I kill it by putting too much voltage across it. Oh, too hot. Let's try it like that. You can see now that the filament has blown open. I attach it to my sparker and I zap it a couple of times. Now if I measure the resistance across it, I'll see that it's shorted. Apparently there is this bridge between the wires of the light bulb that when there is high voltage, it blows short. Okay, let's fix another string. This string doesn't turn on. So I connect my sparker to its plug and I zap it a few times. Now if I plug it back in, it turns on. Magic! Well, this is awesome. It means that I don't need to spend hours to find a blown light bulb. But there's one thing, when you short one light bulb, there will be higher voltage across the remaining light bulbs. So one or two shorted bulbs might be okay, but if there are too many of them, there will be much higher voltage across the remaining bulbs that will kill them quicker. So if you have spare light bulbs, replace the ones that are dead and off in your string. If you have too many dead bulbs, then preserve the good ones and buy a new string. And out of all these, you get your own tiny taser that you can zap your friends with.